Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Now the question I'm answering tonight is, what's in this small box? And first off, what is this small box? Well, this is an expansion for the Aventuria Adventure card game, which is a competitive or cooperative card game from Ulysses Spiel, set in the world of the Dark Eye, or Das Schwarz Art, which is Germany's most popular role-playing game. Think of D&D, but in German. That has been translated over here, and this is a card game, a non-collectible card game, where you can play through Adventuria Adventures. Now, that game can be played two ways. You can play competitively, where you battle heroes against each other, and you deck build, like Magic the Gathering, where you pick and choose your deck and then fight on, on the other players. The other way, though, and the way I actually prefer to play the game, is a cooperative story mode where you play through a quest. Well, this box contains something useful for each of those. So first off, you get a new hero, the Magistra of Alchemy, which is a brand new character to play in a full deck for that character. Now, this deck is pre-constructed, but you can mix and match cards from other decks to customize it. That can be used in both modes. The other thing you do get in here is a short adventure that is focused around that character, so you get the best of both worlds. In this box, this is again Aventuria Magistry of Alchemy Hero Set. Five years ago, Count Balder Garifax, Grotho of Grafenfels, escaped justice for the crimes he committed in the mines below the Inn of the Black Boar. Now he's finally declared an outlaw, and a group of dwarves hires the heroes to put an end to Jarifax's bloody reign. This hero set contains the adventure Operation Jarifax, specifically designed for adventures with a talent for craftsmanship, and introduces a new hero, Neum Hassensons, a Mengibillion magical alchemist. So one of the things I do have struggle with a bit, well, um... Playing Dark Eye games is the pronunciation of some of the German words, so I do apologize for that. Now, one more thing before I do crack this open, I do have to thank Ulysses Spiel for sending me a copy of this with, along with a bunch of other awesome adventurous stuff that we have really been enjoying. All right, here you have my shiny new copy of the Magister of Alchemy hero set for Aventuria. I just cut the shrink off this. I am cracking it open for the first time. I know pretty much what I'm going to get in here, a nice skinny little book. It tells the story and features new rules and then a deck of cards which you've got under there we'll start off with the booklet that starts right into the adventure okay so no new rules introduced with this character whatsoever so it should be all standard mechanics we're already aware of i don't want to spoil this adventure so i'm just going to flip through it really quickly looks like some interesting stuff there's after a victory and then an introduction to our new character here at the back you don't want to hear me read this out right now. I'll leave that for you to discover on your own. So what we do have here is the new stack, the new hero deck. I am not. I can feel that there's a thing for removing. You are looking with a character who has all three skills. So not so great at attacking, got a 10. A little better at ranged, 11. And eh, magic with a 7, but a dodge of 5, which isn't bad. So definitely using all the different types. Um, her basic attack is actually a d6 plus 1, so that's a nice touch. That's a little better than most, but it does cost an endurance to use. Her special ability is, once per combat, remove any number of item cards in your discard pile from the game, and then an opponent of your choice loses that much health. That seems ridiculously powerful for duels, but kind of neat for adventures. She is, of course, really good at craft, also good at knowledge, and not so good at persuade and body control. Um, this is a character that was released after the second printing of Aventuria, so you will be tracking health with cards. Unless you own the Will of Life expansion, the Wheel of Life expansion will give you a card for this character. As well as a character token, which is the one thing that seems to be missing from these packs, is you don't get a character token. And I also note that the, the health tracker shows the elf on it, so it seems like they only printed these for the main four heroes. As for getting into actual cards, we have Ball Lightning. So definite spellcaster here. You know what, I'm just going to toss these in here. We have the Alchemist Bowl, which I've never seen before. We have, this is really neat, Balistrina. It is a hand weapon. A very 
neat looking hand weapon. That looks pretty cool. Getting a little bit of glare there, sorry. We have Meng the Bar, which is a, a named sword. Dragon Spit, which is a type of potion. Oh, we have all kinds of potions. It's a poison. Velvet Whisper. Oh, my bad. Definitely some new cards I've never seen before. More poisons. Um, Velvet Whisper. Black Lotus. So she has a number of poisons. The Elixir of Alertness. The Precon Fort. Pomegranate. Oh, jeez. That is huge. Make a ranged test. The opponent loses seven health. This does not count as an attack. And it's a weapon. You keep it. Oh, two of them. Well, that's a good chance it'll come up. Berserker Elixir. So all kinds of interesting potions here. This is a cool looking character. Aqua Regina Poison Elixir of Constitution. Then we have a new action card. Find ingredients. Take two items from your discard back into your hand. Alchemical Library. Search your draw pile for items. Uh, it does have some armor, so that's useful. Leather Helmet. That might be it, though. Weapon Poison. Healing Potions. A, a Ice Spell, which I'm not going to try to pronounce. A way to increase their magic skill. And Archery Skill and Archery Skill again. Um, Balsam, which is a, a heal ability. A Rapier, so also melee weapons. There we have a little bit more armor, but it's only quilted, not leather. Uh, athletics to improve the dodge. Warfare to improve melee attacks. Aeolitis, which is a um, makes you discard cards, like from the from play. An invisibility potion, and then we get to the adventure. So, despite being a short adventure, there's a lot here. So give me a second to see what the rest of this is. All right. So this is important to people. Four new reward cards. No, I'm not going to read what they do, but you can at least take a quick look at it. Then we have the adventure, and, and I'm assuming this is part of the adventure, but it's really interesting. And I want to know what these are for badly now. These are like locations. So we have a large bridge, a large siege tower, a large workshop, a large alchemical laboratory, a large mine, a large herb garden, and a large brewery. And on the other side, we have a small version of each small bridge, small siege tower, and so on. I have no idea what these do. So that's got to be something interesting just for Operation Jerifex. So that's it. That's what you get in the box for the Magister of Al Magistra of Alchemy An expansion for Adventuria, the adventure card game set in the world of the Dark Eye. A deck of cards, a small booklet. Pretty much exactly what I expected in here. Card quality is, of course, great. Note, this does not, you will not find a life tracker, a wheel, or an adventurer token in this. So you'll have to substitute one of the ones from the original game um, for this character, just when you're trying to randomize which character gets to do something or initiative or something like that. Note, if you do pick up the Wheel of Life expansion, you do get that as something separate. But for as for this, you've got a short adventure, looks interesting. Some really fascinating cards like landmarks with bridges and a brewery and everything. I have no idea what those are for. I'm really curious about that. And a new character that is all about items. And a ton of those items were various potions, salves, and poisons. Something definitely different. I have not seen it at Adventuria before. And something I'm really looking forward to discovering in the future. So that's it for my look at the Magister of Magistra of Alchemy, hero set for Aventuria, the adventure card game. Now, I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Find me all over the wilds of the internet as tabletop bellhop, one word. Visit our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, for lots of awesome gaming content. And the other thing we do is we like to answer your gaming and game night questions. If you got a question for me, head over to that website, click on Ask the Bellhop, or email me at questions at tabletopbellhop.com. That's it for this unboxing video. Thank you very much for joining me. If you appreciate this video and like to see more like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ding the bell to get notified when we go live. Good night and game on.